What's up my friends? I am going to reveal to you the truth about online guitar lessons. I have thousands of students enrolled in my guitar courses and hundreds of thousands of people who have subscribed to my social media channels, which is amazing and something I never thought would happen. And as a result, I've learned about what goes into creating a great guitar lesson for the internet. Yes, I am here to pull the curtain back on all this online education stuff because I think you guys should have all the information possible. I don't think you should be in the dark about any of this stuff. After all, I like to build trust with you guys. I like to think we're friends and friends trust each other, right? Right? Okay, so the ultimate question is this. Why should you pay money for online guitar lessons when there's literally millions of free YouTube lessons on the internet? Why? It's a good question. I'm gonna give you all the information that I have available in my head from my own experience and my time in this online music education industry. And after you have all the information, then you can make up your own mind. And I'm not about to tell you whether you should or shouldn't pay for online guitar stuff. But I'm gonna lay out some points about both paid and free content and then let you make up your own mind. Number one, you get what you pay for. Yeah, so free guitar lessons are just that, they're free. Meaning there's not really a quality control factor that goes into them since you're not paying anything to get them. So obviously the video I shared was a dramatization of the worst possible alternate picking lesson ever. They're not all nearly that bad, but I think in general, it's easy to get poor information or wrong information because there's a lot of sources out there that aren't really credible that don't have the knowledge to necessarily be telling you what to do so it's easy to get caught in that web of lies. On the flip side however there are free guitar lessons out there that are amazing and that brings me to my next point. There are great quality free guitar lessons out there on the internet and the only issue is that the internet is a fragmented landscape. That means there is no path, there's no clear path to get from A to Z. Uh, it's kind of like throwing darts to try and find the correct next steps to take if you do find a great lesson. What was the context of that lesson and where do you go next? Where should you have been? So that reason is exactly why I began Music Is Win. What I try and do with my videos is create an overarching, enveloping point which dives into techniques, music theory, whatever the subject is, it doesn't matter. The view of learning the top level of something and understanding what it takes to get to the next level, whether it's going to another free YouTube video on my channel or going to a guitar course. I'm always very clear if there is something else going on that allowed me to execute whatever the subject matter of a given lesson is. I like to put all the concepts into a musical context too, so you don't just get a bunch of words and no music. And I also like to be entertaining. I mean, there's nothing worse than guitar lessons like this. This is what I call a one, two, three, four exercise. And I'm just playing chromatic notes here, starting on uh, the first string on F, and I'm playing F, F sharp, G, and G sharp like this. And that brings me to another important point. The best guitar players in the world who make random one-off videos aren't always necessarily the best teachers. So in the end, I believe the best guitar lessons on the internet are descriptive, not prescriptive. Meaning, they'll tell you what you're doing and how to do it, but they won't tell you what to do. My guitar courses are kind of like the bottom 90% of the iceberg in the ocean, where YouTube is that top 10% that's peeking out of the water. Most people will never see what's under the water and don't care to, and that's totally fine with me. I get plenty of joy and fulfillment by creating free YouTube content. My final point is this, you absolutely do not need to pay for online guitar lessons. Between my channel and a few others out there that are really high quality and consistent in their information, you have a wealth of materials to become an extremely accomplished guitar player without spending a dime. The only thing that cannot be taught on the internet or in person are two things in fact, passion and discipline. If you don't have those two things, 
all the greatest information in the world can't help you. It's just up to you about how much you want to learn and in what capacity, what your goals are as an individual and as a musician. Online guitar courses that are paid can definitely help you due to the structure and the timing. I know for myself, I am completely content just throwing on an awesome backing track and practicing whatever it is I want to practice that day. That is about as in-depth as I get into YouTube guitar lessons, so maybe that's just like you. But either way, there should be absolutely zero pressure on you to feel like you have to have a certain amount of experience or a certain instructor in order to move to the next level. In the end, it's all about you. I hope this was a helpful message for you guys. I hope it helped shed some light on all the stuff that I do on Music Is Win and all the guitar lessons on YouTube. Remember, there are some great gems on YouTube, so I'm not discouraging you away from that. But if you do want to take the next step into the paid stuff, then I would recommend my guitar courses as a start. But really, just have fun. Keep shredding. I'll see you next time.